I don't know why, but he does. Anyways, uh, going Nikki against... Nikki has opinions, uh, whether they're good or bad, is, uh, you know... It's up to you to decide. To yep. That's something but, um, else. He went for what? the arm rotor. What is I told it? you, frame one arm rotor, baby, it's over. I mean, what is in his head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is fact, though, is that we are in uh, grand finals tonight between Cosmo and McBenedict. The surprise of McBenedict is here, and he has made it all the way from losers. He's been making a losers run for quite some time. He lost pretty early. He's been making this losers run since uh, top eight qualifiers. Yeah, so he made it through top eight qualifiers and losers, and here he is at grand finals fighting against Cosmo. Yeah, I mean, both of our last two people, King, uh, not King Cam, sorry, McBenedict and Disco Bunny, both are were both, you know, lower lower end seats, not super low, they were, you know, six and seven, but yeah, they, they were, were not they were not seated to make it to two and to to two grands and, and winners finals. So the, the that top, was the, not the gyro saved him from that getting arm not, rotored. Are you kidding me? That, that's the only time Nick B will ever thank Gyro unless he picks up Rob. Oh 100%. my goodness, yes. Wow. Dear Lord Gyro, you've saved my life today. You've given me the strength, but now can you give me the strength oh. enough to kill this menace of Rob? I was Who expecting knows? a jump on a shield. Not going to get it, though, but that taunts you. Definitely going to do the trick. And, uh, I mean, you may look at this lead. Oh, oh, oh. woo! All right. Had the roll man. read and everything. Just not quite the distance was right, but... Cosmo read everything, but he was just a little too far to catch that full punish. Oh, here comes the 8-bit man. I see 8-bit man gonna work. No, he gets no, past it. Do it. Too high a percent to make it work, and the 8-bit man is not gonna work. I don't. Okay, listen. I know it's a regular ROM thing, but 8-bit man has been doing that since Brawl. So you know what? I'm calling it the 8-bit man. So shut the hell up. Anyways, we're gonna go into this, and uh, it's pretty even right now with uh, two sides of rain. And now Cosmo is just. Um, he just keep me in the air. He's turning up the heat right here on McB. McB finding an answer though. You know, I mean, hey, the, the game's the game's pretty close. These are both heavier characters. Not neither one's gonna be dying super super early. They both have some great combo games, some great punish games. But now, this, now this, is, this is gonna be a hard now, set for both now, players. Yeah. Now, serious question. Maybe you wouldn't notice, but what the hell does Rob do whenever you're getting down tilted by a shadow on shield? Dude, honestly, you. <laughs> You don't. I don't think you have a whole lot of options. I mean, you're Rob. I think you just gotta try to like DIL or like roll out. I don't know, honestly. You really don't know. I mean, we can see some good options by uh, Cosmo, but Rob is not the character you see playing up close a lot. Yeah. He does have good options, maybe. Oh wow, what a match by McBenedict to get out of there! So good. He got out of there that fast at a hundred percent. He was mashing as soon, as, like before he got grabbed. All right, I like the wake up top. That's I like bad. the wake up sure you attempt from McBenedict, but uh, that's not what's gonna take it. Instead, it's gonna be the back air. Yeah, that back air was clean though. The nair though coming out from Mc, uh, not from McB, oh! from King K. The Gyro's not saving you today. Quick answer back again to basically even in this game number one between these two and Grands. Yeah, the rock and hard play is coming through again. McBenedict getting trapped in between the gyro and the down tilt. So, uh, yeah, uh, he's going to die right there. Ooh. But the uh, down tilt, down tilt into Toss is going to do a lot right there. And now Rob is nearing death percent. McB is playing on fire oh. right now. Okay, now he's the death percent. Rob is an absolute death percent. For sure. Oh my goodness, he's dead. Yep, and the uh, true cancel into sure you get is gonna get McBenedict game one. Cancel sure you is one of the most scary things in Smash. A really, aerial cancel into sure you is so crazy. It's 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 actually crazy, but it's, it's horrifying. Actually, it's horrifying to play against, but when you're watching it, it's one of the coolest things. It's ever. so cool. Cause it's so fast and it kills so early. You're like, oh my god, he's just he just got decimated. But then again, you could say that about like 95% of the cast in this game. That when when you're watching it, it's cool, but when you're playing against them, you're just like, oh, I hate this character. I really want this character to get nerfed so freaking badly. Exactly. This game has a lot of weird stuff like that. Welcome to Super Smash Ultimate, everybody. This game is a lot of fun to watch, not a lot of fun to play. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, maybe you do feel that way, and if you do, I'm sorry. But uh, back in the Grand Finals, uh, McBenedict has a really good lead right now. A solid lead, and uh, I don't know why he's approaching to a lot, though. King K, I mean, Cosma, is uh, adapting to this pretty well. In game one, mm -hmm. McBenedict did get away with the approach. Oh! Lot. Ooh! Okay, uh, good angle. The hard up to almost killing Cosmo off the top. 
Yeah, here we go. The, the rotor oh, arm's said, gonna get him punished up. Oh, no. not, not at all. Oh, well, wow, I thought we were gonna see a short you come out there. Oh, rocking a hard place. Oh, oh, and they're gonna knock him the opposite way. Just yeah. barely knocks him off to the right side of the gyro instead of the left. <laughs> not gonna get the cancel in time. That's twice in a row McPhee's gotten a mess up on a punish. Earlier when he did the, when he did the uh, F throw, meant to go for an F smash, messing that one up, and then just then he missed uh, an aerial to up to uh, oh, show you, but picking it up quick. But it doesn't matter though, whenever you have parried the shore you can off the top. I know Coltis is loving that right now. Exactly, yeah. Here we go, though. Nice little up smash there from Cosmo, the yeah. Rob Mastermind in the winner's side of Grands. Yeah, uh, I, he was finally, he's finally able to uh, punish Big Bennett from throwing a lot of downers on shield. Or is that the shooter? <laughs> I forget which one it is. It's the shooter down there. And yeah, another arm roller, he's... Arm roller? he's okay, not I thought he was... quite done. Oh, and the platform comes through! The hero of the day, the platform on the right side, saving McBenedict from probably having to go down, and uh, Kazan would have had a load of work for him to get back up if had he had to go down. Exactly. That, he he could have gotten it, he could have made it back just distance wise from from there, but the platform really saved him because otherwise Carta? King K was down there to, to oh. try to keep him off off stage for a little bit longer, but <laughs> Dude, Mickey's mash is stupid good. Yeah, and right now, uh, McMinnon is doing a good job. Oh, I... Oh, oh my goodness, the back of the top through the back foot, the stanky <laughs> leg coming out big. <laughs> and Kazuma sh just shouting, why in the middle of the venue? <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Here, here oh, at Redline, nothing but class. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that, that has to be... And McMinnon is getting carried by the platform again back to the stage. Again, missing... Or, uh, Cosmo missing out there, but quick answer once again with that out smash. We're seeing that a lot so far this whole set. Yeah, really. And right now, uh, McBenedict is just, oh no, he's dead. Oh, wow. wow. What a turnaround this game. That was a zero to death. Cosmo, and, and I think Cos McBee says so, so something like, that's dumb, and then Cosmo's just like, bruh. You, yeah, you hit me with, with I, the with the backwards pinky toe of Tatsu, and I died. From what I from what I from what I think I heard, I I believe I heard. You think that's stupid? Excuse <laughs> me. I got hit by your. I got hit by the back hit of Tatsu. That's dumber. <laughs> now I could totally be wrong, but I I did I did hear the excuse me part. <laughs> that was okay. I thought for a second there we were gonna we were going to see. Um, I thought we were gonna see Bowser Jr. for a second, but then I remembered that he's just resetting controls. Anyways, yep. in the game two, not game two, game three. Excuse game, me, game we're number three of a possible five or a possible ten. You know, oh, King K do. is the winner's side, so if he wins these next two or two of the next three, we're we're going home early tonight, boys. If if Mick B takes these next two, two of the next three, we're I mean, heading into a second set between these two. I mean, it ain't Grayson. King Cosmo has a little more mercy onto his opponents than Grayson. Grayson would probably just uh. May it just kill everybody and go home. We, we could definitely, but can't can't count them out. Though we could definitely see a uh, three-one and a handshake coming out from from Cosmo. We could also see a three-one coming out from McBee though with this really good start, knocking uh knocking Cosmo all the way up to 105. He's starting to adapt to the instant mash out and is trying to chase him down with like an up smashes thing. But Ryu just has so many good aerials that cover it. Definitely be hard to deal with. Now speaking you know, I just want to say that we've not seen a single berry kill in this entire set so far. Shoutouts to McBenedict's mashing. Yeah. That is something you cannot say like, oh, Carta! That's gonna do it though. Whether he gets the berry or not, this is, uh. That up there's still gonna kill around that percent. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, I mean, you, you, don't, you don't need a berry to, to, to uh, confirm into that. If you can just catch him in the air like and that, he, and, and even on Town and City. Town and City has a, has a large ceiling now. But it's still gonna kill like it was Flash 4 right there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, the down smash to the ledge. King K or uh, Kazma holding on for a little bit too long there. Definitely interesting, but the rotor arms coming out once again. Pretty big from him. The down oh. air is gonna answer big. Oh. And Kazma takes a commanding lead of this game number three on Town and City. Yeah, the uh, tournament winner gonna take it out. Oh, he's trying he to for the smash. He, oh. he he's been getting those all night. McMinnitz, I think it's the first person I've seen at least on stream to not fall for that. He went for a he went for a Twitter clip. And he's he done said, it twice he said already. Twitter.com slash King K. <laughs> Bruh. All right, McMinnitz, just uh, one good confirm. Yep, he is out of here and uh, pretty 
pretty even, pretty even game. Okay, that Nair not gonna get its way through. The fireball's coming out. Okay. Yeah, I got the Shakunetsu coming through, but not, not gonna do anything as, uh, Cosmo's just willing to hold shield. Oh Mixed my goodness. He keeps, like, fading just barely past this gyro, and it gives you a heart attack every time, because I think he's gonna accidentally land on it and die. Okay, good, good, uh, good stall by McMenade instead of throwing out the, uh, Sure, you can get back to the ledge as soon as he get. Oh, oh, he got the. Oh, King K. Uh, Kato was in the air, so uh, he didn't get the grounded one. That's he, 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 uh, oh, oh okay. I lied. I lied. I'm bad. I can't read numbers. Yeah, Co yeah. Kazuma didn't get. Kazuma didn't get. Kazuma didn't get uh, grounded. Didn't get uh, grounded. Uh, show you or grounded. I, I forget which one it was. But, uh, he, since he wasn't grounded, it didn't kill us early. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. He didn't get the full confirm. He got the sour spot of uh, Shoryuken. They're not gonna kill. Ooh, the four. Oh, the do it. Get him out of here. All right, two one for uh, Cosma here in grand final set number one. If he can take one of these next two games, we're going home. But will Mick be have an answer? Will this Mick tournament B. end before midnight? Uh, Mick B has. Or will Mick B send us into set number two? Or may, or maybe, or maybe Cosma's a homie. And he'll give him, and he'll give him the set. And be like, hey, at least you took a set off me before he threes out him. <laughs> he, he didn't go up 2 0, so he's safe from the HMO curse. That's true, he is, he is. So I think now he's probably going to end it because he knows that he's not up 2 0, so he's not going to be in risk of anything. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't think we, I don't think we've seen the HMO curse come through tonight. Actually, no, we did, because you did say uh, there was a reverse uh, 3 0, apparently. No, there wasn't a reverse 3 0. Was there not? It was just. Uh... It was just the only 3 0 or uh, sets that were 3 0, or could be a, could be a best of five, were okay. King K, Disco, this one, and then uh, and then Disco McB. But uh, oh, bye. Yeah, goodbye. You're done for, and uh, Cosmo is sitting pretty at a 47%. 62, okay. Oh, and he got the grounded one. That was not gonna do it, no. That was weird. It definitely looked like it wasn't grounded for a second, so I was like, what? No more. I was like, he just standing there. That was so weird. Oh, okay. good tech by me it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 23, it's not gonna it's not gonna send you far enough to kill you anyways, but King K's dead here. Yep. Yeah. So uh what so what he's trying to do, it is a uh it's a sma it's a smash four classic to where Ryu would be able to just run off the stage and then Tatsu right back on and it actually is really, really solid because it can actually uh, give a lot of people's recoveries because then it puts them into an untechable situation. Only Ryu can do that though because of Ken. Ken is, uh, has multi hits so you'll definitely have more than enough time to uh, tech that. But I mean, it can work if you don't know how to tech. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, dead. Yeah, McMenard is just gonna go ahead and jump right into the loving arms of that of Smash. Yeah, those, those loving rocket boots. Yeah, <laughs> all, the ro all the motors, like all like what, six, seven, or eight of those motors below Rob. Just and, oh. Cosmos trying to end this one early. I I was ta I was talking earlier. He knows I have homework. He said he wants to go get food because he hasn't eaten it all today. So, mm. hey, man, man's is hungry. There's one brother on the way home, and he just paid for it by winning this tournament three one over Mick being grand finals. Talk about going to the drive. Set number through. one. Yeah. To speak, speaking of drive bys, here's a little rotor arms. We'll see. We'll see you later. Nah, I don't know about a it's drive. Uh, okay, okay. You went. You went. You, you, done. You went from talking about food and a drive to a drive by. I don't think that's how it works, sir. Done. <laughs> I King don't think K, that's how that works. King King K said, "I'm getting water burger. I'll see y'all next week. It's been real. It's been fun. It it's not been real fun. We'll see you next time. <laughs> 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 so uh, it's been real. It's been fun. I played against Ryu. It wasn't really that fun. So I'll, I'll see you again. We, we I all played Mewtwo into Ryu for my last Mewtwo test. into Ryu. <laughs> wow, what, what a bracket that sounds like. Uh, I mean, to be fair, that actually sounds like a bracket. I would like, though. Yeah, yeah. A lot better than me running into Disco. If I would have run into Disco, I would have probably just forfeited. Hey, man. Here we go, though. Thank you guys for watching Red Line number 160. I've been Kyle, joined by Crown. The first one on YouTube. Exactly, yeah, our first stream on YouTube. We're going to be trying this out for, I think, the entire month of February, unless, like, some weird technical stuff happens and yeah. like, we can't for whatever reason. Um, but the plan is to test out YouTube streams for all of February, so go ahead and check us out next week on this YouTube channel. Next Monday, same time as always, we're going to be on YouTube still, so... Uh, 
Thank you guys for watching. We'll and see you um, again next week. Yeah, really quick. But uh, a little quick bills for a second. Uh, the Plus Ultra Rats vote coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, February 15th, February 16th. Smash has a $200 price bonus. And then uh, Fortnite, if you ever care for that, uh, up to $100. Five bonus of data. Mystery Anime Fighter up to a hundred dollar pop bonus between Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, and Dragon Ball Fighters, but I think me and Cal already know here it's probably gonna be Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah, probably. They, they're doing a poll for Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, and DBFZ for the last, yeah, uh, for the third game, but it's it's at a it's at a My Hero convention, which is a shonen anime, and then they have two games that are you know solid, and then they also have a good solid, solid game that's also against the shonen game. So you're like, yes. okay, yeah, the DBFZ is probably gonna be the part of the one. And we'll then, see, yeah. and then, uh, then of course. Uh, Come out to uh, Low Tier City Expo, hosted by uh, Terry Locator. Uh, early registration starts uh, February 10th. 10th yeah. February 10th, Sunday. and the uh, event itself is on July 10th to the 12th at the Esports Stadium in Arlington, Texas. So uh, join us out for there, as well as the uh, small circuit. We're running every single Shockwave. Uh, if you ever come out to Shockwave, we're also running a small circuit. We're having regionals uh, every three months, I believe, except for this season because we are running uh, only two months. Mm -hmm. But uh, Top 8 will be in an Invitational, Top 16 will be qualified into a regional, absolutely free venue fee, and then uh, the uh, Aftershock, which is the regional, is uh, open to everybody, but the Invitational is open to 8 people, so uh, without further ado, show up to Shockwave on Wednesday. Yeah, go to Shockwave, go to Redline, check all the streams out, support your local scene, fellas. If you're watching, you're not in DFW, support your local scene. If you are watching, you're in DFW. Come to Redline, come to Shockwave, come to Freaks. You know, come check us out. Come we're, to Odyssey. Uh, come to my tournament. People. Come to Odyssey. Odyssey's cool. Yeah, come come uh, here. Come back here on Friday. We'll, we'll see y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Peace out. Keep it real. It's been real. Yes.